Good morning, everyone. It's Anika Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, we are on to the next part of the excerpt that I had shared with you about love. And I would love for us to move on to a different section of this Corinthians verse. Um, this section is uh, about love not being envious. So, love does not envy. So, I came across some great quotations, of course. and. The first one I found was by William Arthur Ward, and it's a beautiful quotation which says, Blessed is he who has learned to admire but not envy, to follow but not imitate, to praise but not flatter, and to lead but not manipulate. That's a lot of information, right? So again, so blessed is he who has learned to admire but not envy. So imagine we all see things that we admire, right? I love how that home looks. I love how that person speaks. I love how that person dresses. I love that car. I love whatever, right? We admire things. Um, I admire how much work this person has put into this or that, right? So we have admiration for things. But there's a fine line between admiration and envy. So envy will move someone into, oh, I wish I had that, or I wish they didn't have that. It's more likely an envy energy. Then the next is to follow but not imitate because no one is going to be you, right? And no one is going to be the person that you're admiring or even the home that you might admire. You will never be able to have the exact same experience as another person. You can follow it. I really like how this person has set up their home. You might love their couches. You might love their decor and you might do something similar. but you follow it, you don't imitate it because there is no imitation, right? So just like you remember that there's no imitating you, no one is going to be exactly like you, you would have more envy if you were trying to imitate by following. I'm going to do exactly what that person is doing. And usually that has the same energy. The next is to praise but not flatter, right? So, you know, when you are admiring something and say, wow, that's really nice, or I love how you do this, or I was really impressed by this right whatever way but if you're saying it like oh that's really good that you're doing it it's a different energy right you're trying to flatter it's like oh i wish i could do that and maybe you do and maybe there is a bit of uh, envy or jealousy in that but flattery does not have the same energy as praise right praise is like wow good for you i'm really really happy that that's happening for you and meaning it right it's not just like yeah I'm really happy that happened <laughs> right? it's uh, really praising that wow I know the effort that that would have taken and that's beautiful right that sort of idea and to lead but not manipulate right so if you're leading anything whether it's a group in work whether it's your family it's not to force people to do things your way it's not to manipulate that if I say it this way they'll listen to me right it's not to get people to listen to you it's to lead it's to show this is the reason that I think this is a really good way to do this this is the way I'd like us to do it right that sort of idea but um, what do you think about this is is leading with asking others opinions too right it's not just well I created this plan so that's why I'm leading that's a lot of ego Right? So the next quotation I came across was, if envy was were a fever, all the world would be ill. If envy were a fever, all the world would be ill. And this is a Danish proverb. And I love this because look at where we are in society right now. If we say, if envy were a fever, and we're looking at, we've got this major virus affecting the entire world. What else has affected the entire world? I think there's been a lot of envy, right? So I'm just putting that out there and encouraging us to recognize that what might be happening from the microcosm of ourselves is also reflected in the world around us. So be mindful of whatever envy you might sense building up in you and whether it's your thoughts, your words, or your actions, it has an effect. There is an effect of what you are experiencing individually and what you put out into the world. And you know I will be talking more about this when I speak more about quantum physics and consciousness. But next is the quotation that is by William Shenstone. And I wanted to share this with you because it's beautiful. Jealousy is the fear or apprehension of superiority. Envy or uneasiness under it. Okay, so jealousy is the fear or apprehension of superiority. Envy is our uneasiness under it. 
So remember, if you're jealous of something, you think, wow, that's really nice that that person's got it. Envy is the uneasiness. Like, I don't feel comfortable that they've got that. And that's a whole different energy, right? Or I don't feel comfortable that I don't have that, right? That's envy, different energy. It's a different thing if you feel uncomfortable that you don't have it and comfortable enough to, I'm going to try to do this. That's a different energy, right? But if it's this uneasiness, like I don't like that they have that, right? Sometimes we hear about someone who's won a major lottery and there will be a lot of people who would be envious in that situation and it's often that uneasiness like wow they're so comfortable but I'm not and that again is ego and today I'm going to finish with one more quotation while I also ask you to spend five minutes after this video to remember what kind of areas do you have potentially some envy in and can you notice it in terms of your thoughts your words and your actions and for five minutes can you overcome that with a conscious awareness of, yeah, I'm going to pull away from the envy about this. Okay, so I would encourage that for five minutes after this video. And I'm going to finish with one more quotation by Jim Rohn. And this says, the few who do are the envy of the many who only watch. The few who do are the envy of many who only watch. And you know how people will say it's lonely at the top. I think that people who do Luckily, if your consciousness is raised, it's an awareness of it's okay, there's a lot of envy, I'm in a different space and I'm comfortable with where I am. I would love for you to get to that space of recognizing that the higher you go, there may be lots of envy and that's okay. You make sure that you keep your own head on straight and recognize that, yeah, you know what, I'm really happy for what I've achieved or what I'm doing or what I'm blessed with. I wish you a fantastic day ahead. Think about five minutes for envy and how you can overcome one simple thing in your life today or consciously, mindfully move yourself in that direction. I wish you a fantastic day ahead and remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.